Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing about shock waves. What are shock waves? Shock waves are large amplitude pressure waves which are produced by an object that are moving faster than the speed of sound. Okay? So any object if it is moving faster than the speed of sound then a kind of large amplitude pressure waves are generated which are known as shock waves. So these can be created by a fast moving boat, plane or other things such as sudden explosion, lightning or even a moving piston. So such kind of objects which are moving greater than the speed of sound will generate shock waves. This is a diagram of fast moving bullet the traces of shock waves are shown here so this is a fast moving bullet and the speed of the bullet is greater than the speed of sound hence the traces of shock waves are shown in the conical shape how a shock wave is created if the source exceeds the speed of sound no sound is received by the observer until the source has passed so that the sound from the approaching source are mixed with those from it receding so this mixing appears messy but something interesting happens so what do we mean by this let us imagine a situation where there is a plane which is moving over your head and you're just standing on the ground okay so just imagine that the plane is moving with a velocity greater than that of sound so if that plane is moving greater than speed of sound after that plane has passed some distance after the plane has crossed some distance then you will be hearing a shock wave or the observer on the ground will receive a shock wave in the form of a sonic boom so that is the meaning of this and then how a shock wave is created we'll get into this so in this diagram so here we might note that so this is a source let us consider again this is a fast moving plane and this plane is moving with a velocity greater than that of sound okay so let us consider that the plane is traveling from point a to point b so here we uh, know that the plane is moving with a velocity greater than that of sound so when the plane moves from point A, it is generating a sound wave. It's generating a sound wave and it is just moving faster so that it is lagging behind all the sound waves. All the sound waves are left behind the plane. The plane is moving faster than the sound waves. So here, this is the first generated sound wave and the plane moves to the next position and simultaneously it generates another sound wave so here before the sound wave reaches near the plane it coincides with the second generated sound wave so these two sound waves cross over each other or these two sound waves since they are simultaneously occur they will interfere with each other and the plane is moving forward and forward leaving behind all the sound waves so because of this the sound waves interfere with each other so all these circles are representing the sound waves and here exactly at the point of intersection we are keeping plane at one point and we are joining all the points of intersection and on the other side also we are joining all the points of intersection so this will form a conical shape and at the point of interference we can find that there is a shock wave so there is a constructive interference along the lines shown uh, on the lines of cone or edges of the cone so from similar sound waves which are arriving there simultaneously so this superposition of waves forms a disturbance which is known as a shock wave so a constructive interference of sound created by an object moving faster than that of sound so here we might note that the person first person will receive the greatest amount of sound because the plane has already passed 
second person will receive a less amount of sound and third person will not receive any sound because still the plane has not passed so this is an animation showing that when any object moves faster than the speed of sound it leaves behind all the sound waves and there is a conical shape formed at the edges of this cone all the sound waves interfere with each other and there at that point shock waves are formed now let us get into mach number so the ratio of speed of moving object v to the speed of sound c in a fluid is known as mach number so this was named after a scientist that is in honor of ernst mach so the ratio of speed of object is taken as v and the speed of sound is taken as c so the ratio of these two is nothing but it's a mach number so it is indicated by m a which is equal to v divided by c so the mach number is a dimensionless measure of speed which is common in aerodynamics so we use this mach number commonly in aerodynamics it is a dimensionless measure why it is dimensionless measure because here clearly we can note that v divided by c v is velocity of moving object and c is speed of sound so both the units are same so because of that mach number is a dimensionless measure so mach 0.5 is half the speed of sound so that is considered if mach is 0.5 it is half the speed of sound if mach is 2 it is twice the speed of sound and so on speeds which are less than the speed of sound have a mach number between 0 and 1 and are described as subsonic so if the mach number is in between 0 and 1 such kind of flow are described as subsonic flow those greater than the speed of sound have mach numbers which are greater than 1 and they are described as supersonic so if mach number ratio when we are calculating the mach number ratio if that ratio yields you a number which is greater than 1 then such kind of flow are described as supersonic flow so if speeds approximately equal to the speed of sound then they have a mach numbers approximately equal to 1 and are described as transonic if speeds are approximately equal to the speed of sound that is v is equal to c then if you divide those two equal numbers it will give you 1 and in that case it is described as a transonic flow this is about today's discussion thank you